introduce you to myself and uh, show you just what I'm capable of. We'll talk about the women's competition in just a moment, but this is the start list for the women's balance beam final and the reserve gymnast Anastasia Baczynska certainly has got some difficulty to throw into this one. We start with Sani Vevers, second strongest qualifier and the reigning Olympic champion on the balance beam. We also have in that final Lika Vevers as well. We'll talk more about that in just a moment as we look at the start list for the men's vault competition. Great Britain's Gianni Regini Moran is the third strongest from the qualification. He starts. Nikita Nagorni, the second strongest. And we have Andrei Medvedev later down the order as the top qualifier. Representing Let's the get the competitors Sanne out Vivas. onto the field of play. The women's balance beam final. Sanne Vavis, the reigning Olympic champion and second France. strongest Marine in Boyer. qualification. She was the gold medalist in Glasgow in 2018. Marine Boyer of France, the eighth strongest Ukraine. in qualification. Anastasia Her fifth Bacinska. European championship. She won a silver on the balance beam in Bern in 2016. First reserve, France, Anastasia Baczynska comes into the final with strong difficulty and a chance to really shake things up. Melanie de Jesus dos Santos of France, balance beam silver medalist from 2019. Lika Vavers joins her sister Sani in a Italy. European final, Martina the fourth strongest Maggio. in qualification. Martina Maggio of Italy was the fifth strongest in qualification. She finished sixth in the all-around final. Morgan. Amelie Morgan of Great Britain, fourth and in the all-around competition, Latvia. and the uneven bars Elina bronze medalist. She's the third strongest of the qualification campaign. And Elina Virova of Latvia, the 18-year-old, was the seventh strongest in qualification. Welcome she made the, the balance beam final at the European Championships in Mersin and was fifth. Great Britain, Gianni Regini Moran. To the men's vault competition, Gianni Regini Moran, the third strongest in qualification, the 22-year-old from Dartford. Courtney Tulloch, also of Great Britain, the sixth strongest in qualification, part of the team that took Nikita silver at the European Nagorni. Championships in Bern and in Glasgow. Nikita Nagorni doesn't really need much of an introduction, but let's do it anyway. The second strongest in qualification, the man who turns up to the European Championships and wins everything. Arta Davtian, the pommel horse European champion Ukraine, as of yesterday, Igor the fourth strongest Radivilo. in qualification. Ukraine's Igor Radivilov, a fixture in finals at European Championship level. He's the reigning Belarus. European champion Igor on vault. Igor Sharonkov of Belarus, the seventh strongest in qualification. Israel. The man who finished Andre fourth Medvedev. after an inquiry in 2019. And he finished because of the upgrade to Andrei and Medvedev of Israel, the France, top qualifier, the man who won at silver in 2019 in Stetschin. And Loris Frasca of France, the fifth strongest performer in qualification. He was fourth at the European Championships on vault in 2018. There you go. What a way to get things started with this balance beam and vault competition. Final moments of preparation for all of the competitors. They might be less nervous than you are watching at home. Calm yourselves down, it's only the balance beam final. Nothing surprising ever happens there. But we start, do we not, with one of the balance beam competitors. Absolutely one of the great ones, the reigning Olympic champion on balance beam. She is used to this kind of pressure. We must embark. It is time to begin. Stanley Babers of Netherlands the Olympic champion on the balance beam, European champion from 2018. One of those tremendously efficient gymnasts. She doesn't win many titles, just happens to win all the big ones. Second strongest in qualification with 13.433, the 29-year-old from Leuwarden.
gets on cleanly with a round off backhand spring mount, swings her leg through and does a wolf jump with a full turn. And that is her own skill. Got it named for her at the World Championships back in 2010 at home in Rotterdam. a routine that has such clever composition. Many gymnasts rely on flips, acrobatic series to get their difficulty. She does not. She is all about turns like this one. And doing them in combination. Complex dismount. That's how you get a balance beam final started, isn't it? Sally Davis. That is marvellous work. As you say, Blythe, it's a cleverly constructed piece of gymnastics. She is somebody who has looked at the code of points and thought about it quite differently from a lot of her competitors. Like this right here, the backhand spring through to immediate wolf full and this dismount gainer counter rotation with a full twist it's actually named after julia steingruber who we're going to see on floor exercise but not balance beam of this routine and pulled out one of her harder ones for today Marine Boye also competed in that balance beam final in Rio de Janeiro. She was fourth in the competition. This is her fifth European Championships and she won a silver medal on the balance beam in Switzerland in 2016, the eighth strongest in qualification. her acrobatic series round off layout to two feet very well no French gymnast has ever won a European title on the balance beam and they've got two in this final oh but that the loss of form that is going to cost her something in execution did very well to recover though. <laughs> really nice combination there of leaps and interspersed with an acrobatic element. We will be seeing a little bit more of that in this final. Oh, she did well to hold on to that landing. Marine Boyer has spoken of how difficult it's been without competition. She said she's needed this, really has needed the chance to do more than just train. And her goal was to make the balance beam final. Well, that's a mission accomplished for the 20 year old from Saint Benoit. Lovely amplitude on this flight series. All gymnasts are required to do a combination of at least two elements, one of them being a salto showing flight. Unfortunately, on balance beam, there is literally no room for error. off with a double pike this is the Sukahara double pike and looks that looks though, like doesn't it? it does well, this will give us uh, perhaps a little bit of clarity I say that the camera's up quite high but it might be about to follow him down 
No, well, we'll leave that one open to mystery. <laughs> but it did look as though there was a little bit of contact with hands on mat. The number will give us greater clarity on that. Now, Marine Boye has 12.866, so she's down by around about half a mark from her qualification performance, goes into second position with six still to go. Now, here is something of the wild card performer in Anastasia Baczynska, comes in as the first reserve gymnast for this balance beam final, but she does it with some very compelling difficulty in the locker. Her score in qualification was 13.133. Again, it was a tight qualification process for the balance beam final. She has everything that she needs to deliver a really big score on balance beam. Routine that's packed with difficulty. And she's come into replace the top qualifier, Larissa Yordaki of Romania. Yordaki's work was well and truly done in the qualification process when she sensationally secured an Olympic spot. Remarkable achievement considering she was unwell. Yordaki had a kidney infection and quite wisely has taken the decision to not compete any further. She's had enough disruption through injury to her career over the years, most recently lasting three years. So uh, a wise decision to step aside from this final and an opportunity for Baczynska as a result. She was fourth in the balance beam final at the European Championships at the end of last year where she was a part of the Ukraine team that won the gold medal. Very nice back dive mount, it's called the candle. And the first big test here, front hand spring punch front. round we saw her have a little bit of trouble with some of her combinations didn't get the connection bonus that she might have but so far is moving very well through this routine Well, that is most interesting from Anastasia Baczynska of Ukraine. We've seen already in these championships reserves come in to various events and deliver something that really sets the cat among the pigeons. And in this routine, she has employed something of a unique strategy. It seems that she has actually taken out a little bit of her difficulty in order to make sure that she gets through everything cleanly. We'll see when the score comes in. Well, the scores come in for Courtney Tullock. Backwards momentum that a gymnast gets from this vault is really quite extreme. As you see there, just didn't have the, the wherewithal to stand up cleanly no chance is taken though by Nagorni just does the safe thing that all gymnasts will do and no. doesn't risk hurting himself and looked in the air like he might have been just a little bit out of alignment and on this vault if you are that you see just a little bit angled in the air he did the right thing not to try to go for that landing 
no risks to be taken this year. 13.333 for Bocinska. Her difficulty the same as in qualification, but she is now into the silver medal position after the first three. Melanie Jesus dos Santos of France. The sixth strongest performer in qualification. Balance beam silver medalist in 2019 when she won the European all around title. Very, very nice start to this routine. Takes some risk in doing the front tuck mount and follows up with a front pike. Both of them just bang on. And that too. only to do two apparatus here, an even bars and balance beam. in this routine, but she has handled it very well so far. One thing left. Oh, and that's something new. And she just about finds a way to hold on to that rather than going completely forwards. How costly is the adjustment going to be on the dismount from the French athlete who already has such an impressive collection of European Championship honours. This was a routine that could absolutely end up on the podium. This is her flight series, back handspring layout to two feet. And she was so focused throughout the routine. This is a new skill. She did only a double tuck in the qualification round. This time adds a full twist. And this is the first time that she has ever competed this. Well done. Yeah, some execution lost on the landing, but uh, difficulty earned in the air. And that's uh, an important trade-off to consider. Now for Nagorni, he is down in third position, 14.033, courtesy of that 13.466 second vault. Subject to Vavis. There's the next one. It's a great number from Melanie de Jesus dos Santos, 13.9, and she has gained 0.6 of difficulty from qualification. It was worth putting some of that new work in. The trade-off paid off. Lika Vevers of Netherlands joins her twin sister Sanit in the balance beam final. I think it may well be a first ever Vavas double act in the European Championship final. Fourth strongest in qualification, 13.4. That's the first occasion Regrettably, in this final that we've seen a competitor unintentionally dismount the apparatus. She's done some superb work on the balance beam in the course of her career, including winning the European Games title, the inaugural European Games title in Baku in 2015. She is known for her superb execution. 
such clean, stylish work. Same dismount as her sister, gainer full. It is just a wonderful thing to see Lika Weber's back in European Championship competition. Her floor routine in the all-around final, one of the highlights of the competition, really. Finished eighth overall. She's had quite a journey, hasn't she, to get back to the stage where she really feels ready and willing and, and full of the desire to compete at elite level once more. Anything else, let us remind ourselves that she is back. Martina Maggio of Italy is next to take to the balance beam. One has got to feel for Martina Maggio. She came so close in qualification to securing an Olympic berth, an extra one for the Italian team. But the very fact that she was so close to doing so reminds us of what progress this super gymnast has made lately. 19-year-old from Monza. At this competition, she has really come out and made a statement that she is a contender. Very beautiful gymnastics, gorgeous amplitude on her leaps. It's great work from Martina Maggio of Italy, the sixth strongest in the all-around competition. Martina and a gymnast Maggio. who one really wishes nothing but the very finest for on a day of apparatus finals when it has been, one suspects, a very emotional Martina. European Championship competition for her. So much to enjoy about her work. Round off one and a half twist dismount. Martina Maggio's score comes in at 13, just out of medal contention for the Italian, a third behind Anastasia Bacinska. So it is De Jesus Dos Santos, Sanivevas, and then Bacinska occupying one, two, and three with two competitors to go. So that means the French gymnast, Melanie De Jesus Dos Santos, has secured herself a medal. Emily Morgan of Great Britain, the penultimate competitor, third strongest in qualification, an athlete who could well be in contention following her uneven bars bronze medal. Smooth, graceful, and very steady, typically, on this apparatus. Back handspring, layout, layout, right on. combination there of leaps to the Corbett somersault. And has to grab the beam on that wolf turn. 
Anytime a gymnast does that, it is the equivalent of a fall. So that is going to cost her full mark in execution. It's been a fine championships for Emily Morgan of Great Britain. She was fourth in the all-around competition as well and very much in the discussion until eventually it was her teammate, Jessica Gadirova, who secured the bronze. Was a bronze medalist at the Youth Olympic Games on the balance beam, but there, an important moment. And we've talked about how unflappable she has looked all week, haven't we, Ollie? And even after the mistake, it Emily Morgan scores 13.166 on the balance beam, and she finds herself in fourth position. Elena Virova of Latvia is the last competitor to go. So this means that in the balance beam competition, Melanie de Jesus dos Santos and Sani Vevers are guaranteed medals, and the reserve gymnast Anastasia Bachinska currently occupies bronze. Virova was the seventh strongest in qualifying. Well, she just gets herself back up onto the apparatus extraordinarily quickly after a very nasty loss of contact and uh, uh, really a, a tough collision there with the apparatus. Did really well to get right back on. No matter how much you practice these elements on balance beam, it is never fun to fall like that, come down on your ribs. This is exemplary composure from Elena Virova. <laughs> Whatever the position she finds herself in at the conclusion of this final, the extraordinary recovery there from Elena Virova. My word. And her shoulders just get a little bit out of alignment with the balance beam. I think that angle really illustrates what kind of a contact that was. That really is just incredible. And she just gets straight back up and continues with a, a remarkable degree of resilience. One hopes that she is OK and one suspects that she will be uh, attended to medically just to make sure that all is well. Andre Medvedev has gone into the silver medal position with 14.658. And he is secure of a medal as a result. And it means that once again, Igor Sharonkov goes down into fourth place. Medvedev a gymnast who has worked so hard over his career to get into continental contention. He's made so many vault finals. He pushes through his shoulders to get up into the air. We're talking about such a small margin here in terms of the angle of attack. It's not a great deal. It looks so huge in terms of something going wrong. It really isn't, is it? It never is in gymnastics. It's always so marginal. 
Vraska is the reigning Mediterranean this Games champion on vaults. Virova comes in with a score of 11.2 after a tenacious display, and she's getting a little bit of guidance there by the looks of things from San Evevas. But what it means is that the European champion, a history-making European champion, she's used to making history for the French team, is Melanie de Jesus dos Santos. And there is a quite brilliant moment for Anastasia Baczynska, who was the first reserve for the final. And we said at the start that there might be, with her difficulty, the chance to make a great impression. Well, consider it impression made. The classified results in the women's balance beam competition. The bronze medal for Anastasia Baczynska of Ukraine. The silver medal to Sanivevas of Netherlands. But the reigning Olympic champion beaten on this occasion by Melanie de Jesus dos Santos of France. She is a European champion once more and this time on the balance beam.